So hi everybody, this is your stay home grandma and I'm making some body butter. I make body butter because I use it. I'm using some shea butter. This is a, a cup of shea butter. I'm using some Mary Taylor's Natural Certified Organic White Beeswax, which will harden it. I'm using some botany, Brooklyn botany, aloe vera. I'll use about, not quite a half a cup of that. And I'm using some Butcher Boys 100 Pure Coconut Oil. And I'm using um, some Simply Earth Thyme Oil. So let's get with it, okay? I'm going to mix it up on the stove. I'm just making sure you can see. So how's everybody today? I am doing fine. So I'm going to turn this on. Get my braid out of here so I'm going to set my braid on fire because that's my hair. Just a little bit. I'll clean up all that after. I'm going to put three tablespoons of the coconut oil. While that's melting, I'm going to put, which will, I'm going to eyeball this, but it's about a half a cup of the olive oil oil in. It's olive vera gel, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm going to stir this until this kind of all comes together. That all melts. I'm going to put my shape out in. And I will have my website up by when you get this, my website should be up. It's going to all melt. Get me down. Little bit. I'm going to put 
So I'm doing this with my hand. But I got like a half a teaspoon. Actually, a tablespoon. I'm sorry. Take a whack. That will help it to make that hardened form. But you know, it'll still be so that you can get it out and rub it on your body. Just gonna let it all stir it up. And don't put it in your fingers. Now, shea butter comes in two colors, white and yellow, but they're both good. Almost melted. So when it's all melted, very easy and very simple. And I have like all of these on my my box and my description box, but I'll have them also in my website so that you can order them. Um. So now, last thing. Get this open. I'm going to put 25 drops. I'm sorry, 30 drops. Now the reason why I'm gonna let that cool for a minute, then I'm gonna put it in my jar and I'll show you what jar I'm using. The reason why I picked the thyme oil is because that's good for when you have, believe it or not, it's good for your skin. But it's also good for when you have irritated toenails and all that kind of stuff. Um black toenails, you know, different types of irritations that get into the toenails. So I'm going to use this jar. This is my jar. This is my go-to jar. And I'm going to pour it in in about five or six minutes. I just want it to cool down just a little bit. But that when that jar is almost empty, it's time for me to make some more.
and I do. I'm going to get a metal spoon and put it in there so that A little bit longer. So while we're waiting, put in the comment section other things that you want to see me try to make. I don't know everything, but pretty much I know a lot of things that you can make at home. And remember, October and November, and part of this, I think the first and maybe the second week in December are going to be things that we can make for Christmas presents and Hanukkah presents and Kwanzaa presents. And birthday presents because there's a lot of birthdays in December. Luckily, nobody in my family's birthday is in December that I know of anyway. All right, so let's get this in. So I'm going to take this, let me turn this down just a little bit so you can see this. Put this here. Put this metal spoon in. Sit for a minute. Now this is really heavy glass and it's also a, a mason jar, but I still put a metal spoon with something that hot. Now take it out. Put it in the sink. Put this top over it. Close it. And by tomorrow morning, it'll be solidified and ready to go. And it's just that simple. So if you like this, well, this is on my hand. Like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. And I will put everything in the description box for you to order. I love you. Take care. God bless. Stay safe. Wear your mask. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.